Welcome fifth grade friends, families, parents, whoever is watching this. This is the annual fifth grade egg drop held every year at the end of school. Students construct some sort of basket or container to hold an egg as we're going to drop it from the roof of the gym onto the ground and see who succeeds. Good luck to all. The first contestant will be Mac. Here we go. We have the inside with some bagels. One, two, three bagels, but I'm seeing some egg yolk here. And I'm seeing a lot of egg yolk, and I'm seeing a broken egg. But it was a great try. Steven is next. Uh, We have Stevens right here. Looks like an old gym sock. Wrapped in tissue paper. And another one bites the dust, as they say. Okay. Up next, Clara. Box stuffed with hay, it looks like. You're gonna have to let the hay go. And inside this is some sort of ooh. And we have a lovely yellow egg yolk there. The egg did not survive. Next up is Emmy. Go ahead. And these here is a solid box, taped up. Let's see what's inside. Ooh. Marshmallows. And the, surrounded by bagels. And here's a close up of a surviving egg, the first one of the day. Up next is Audrey. And And this is a small package, as you can see, compared to some of the others. Plastic bag wrapped in cotton material and tape. Look at another. No leakage. The egg has survived. I can feel it rattling there. One piece, good job. Next up, tape. Ready. Okay, Hayden has a colorful package here with lots of elastics. A triple sandwich. Wrap. Yeah, triple wrap here. And inside is an egg carton with even more elastics. A lot of marshmallows stuck in there. And I'm looking for the egg. Oh, and a golden yellow, the egg cracked. Next up, Reba. Looks like something you'd see on Survivor, like the immunity idol here. We'll see. Oh, Two layers of paper. And everyone's favorite material, marshmallows for this one. And inside we have socks. And nestled inside the socks is an egg that has survived. Survivor. Okay, I'll put this one. Up next, Rishi.
his Reese's package. It's a little dangerous to unwrap there, but I'll try my best. Once again, socks were used. What kind of socks? Uh, hang socks. Oh, and inside is a it's a survivor. The egg survived. Claire is next. Okay, Claire has a box here with tape with a notice that says this side up when you drop it. And inside is some paper and a bag. And inside is the fish who ate the egg. Clay fish, but unfortunately, the fish didn't like the egg. It broke. Josephine's box with a stick coming protruding from it. Aha. And the reason for the stick was it was hanging balanced inside the box, so it was actually free floating in the air. And let's see if that works. Plastics, once again, socks being used. Cut this one carefully. There we go. A success. Next up is Oliver. All right, we're good. An egg that survived. Wow. wow. That was amazing. Um, wow. Should we, uh... <laughs> should we just get um, new garbage bags? Yeah, Let's I think so. That. If yeah. you want to grab new garbage bags, I'll clean this up.
gravity, Sean. Drop it. All right. Should we get? Should we open it now? Griffin's box, heavily cased, full of cotton balls, and in the center, an egg that survived. Peter is next. Oh, this is Peter S's box. It came open during the fall. Flap. Like material inside an egg carton that is didn't make it. Nice try though. Kara is next. Okay, so Kara has a taped box here. Another box. And I believe the egg is in here, so I'll open it carefully. Be there and wrapped in rubber bands and surviving. Okay. Rise is next. All right, John, and go ahead. So we have rises with packing paper. Going Plastic wrap and toilet paper. And soft Is the egg that survived inside firmly embedded? Sonia is up. box heavily taped. And outside and inside we have paper towels. Um, looks like pound cake. Obviously it's her favorite. But wait a minute. Inside the cake carefully preserved. The egg has made it. David is up. Jello inside, 
and a perfectly preserved egg. Inside. All of a sudden, I got a craving for green eggs and ham. <laughs> Here's the tea. There's Peace Project, surrounded by skewers. Some fell off. Okay, then we have a small box with a lot of tape. Okay, inside are marshmallows and okay. I'm being very careful here. Perfect egg. Next up, Aria. Right. Okay. Box with cotton material, floated down, and perfect egg. Ella is next. Ella's interesting shape here. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Uh, it seems that there is a central housing in the middle here. Some sort of tube where I believe our egg is hidden. Didn't make it. It looked great, but it's a pineapple sundae now. Didn't make it. This is the end of the egg drop, ladies and gentlemen. Whether your egg survived, as we have the survivors along the wall behind me here, or whether yours didn't make it, it was a lot of fun and we learned a lot about engineering, design, and just having a great time. But before we go, we'd like to thank a lot of people. First, our premier egg dropper from the roof, Jonathan. Miss Meta, who did a lot of the cleaning up after she collected the eggs. Mr. Scafati, who did all the filming, videotaping, etc. And me. Bye-bye. Have a great summer. See ya. Uh, so Cezanne's egg didn't make it here in time. So we're going to do the first ever egg drop in the rotunda, which might be a terrible idea, but we're going to do it. And if, uh, if it goes wrong, we're going to blame Mrs. Ulrichson. Okay. All right. So I'm going to turn the camera here. Hold on. Right, okay. You Whenever you're ready. Ooh. Sounds pretty good. Sounded pretty good. All right. I'm gonna take a chance. We're gonna open it right here on the couch. <laughs> Toilet paper rolls, and I think that's on the outside protecting it. And on the inside, the egg itself. Ooh, the egg itself is actually exposed. And I gotta say, this egg. Ooh, here we go. Looks like I'm, looks like I'm hatching an egg right here. Look at that. Nice job, Sasan. Good work. <laughs>